This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. decided to do is basically get the boys neutered to start with. Um, I should go back a bit. The dogs, um, I mentioned it briefly in my last video, been having a bit of trouble. Basically they've been fighting a lot and it's getting, well not a lot, but it's progressively become now a lot. We want to exhaust all options so that we know we've done everything to make sure our lives are awesome and their lives are awesome. So we booked Mulder in to get desexed. Uh, we dropped him off this morning. And we got a call about an hour or so ago saying he'd be good to go in about two hours to be picked up. Um, which is about now. So the process is going to be, we've um, had a bunch of fun with Obi today and thankfully I've got the day off, it's so exciting. And we're going to take Obi around to mum's place for the next couple of nights so Mulder can stay um, here by himself and recover um, without any stress. And we'll slowly wean them back together um, and spending more time together again and then um, get Obi um, desexed as well. Anyway, today has been a bit of a mixed bag day. We, <laughs> I went to work to get a printout because I need to get my driver's license swapped over to a WA license. And a part of the online application says I need a letter from my employer to say that I'm employed and living in WA. And I got that and I went down to the, the licensing centre and everything and they're like, oh, you're originally from here and you've held a licence in WA before. So we just need a copy of your current driver's license from Victoria and say an FPOS card or Medicare card or something like that. And I was like, are you kidding? Because your website says I need like five or six different documents. I got all of them and I was freaking out about it. So what seemed like it was going to be hard wasn't even that hard. What was funny is when I went back to work to get these documents is we're in the process of doing some promotional work and <laughs> my boss was like, Hey, you're here and you're wearing your civilian wear. Do you want to be a customer? And I was like, sure. So I spent probably half an hour or so there just pretending to be a customer on film uh, for the adverts and stuff. I really should have recorded the process of us filming it because it was so funny because we were just basically dribbling onto each other just like, oh yeah, this, this blue car, yeah, it's blue, it's got four wheels, yeah, it's pretty cool. We were just talking... The most absolute stuff because the whole point of it is not audio. We're supposed to just look like we're I'm being informed as a customer and I'm just like awesome. And it was just it was it was really funny. So I'm looking forward to showing everyone that once we get the final product. It's just it's a ball. Anyway, the next few days weeks are going to be pretty interesting because we've got to go grab uh, Molder and let him recover a bit and then. Just, yeah, try and get the balance between Obi and Mulder sorted. The biggest thing is think, I just think they're really stressed out about the move and there's a bit of a power struggle between the two of them because I'm not home as much as I used to be, being that I'm working now a lot more hours and uh, doing more extracurricular stuff. I'm actually doing the whole you know, physical activity thing more so than what I've done in the past. Well... I'm doing more physical activities now than what I was doing in, in Melbourne before we left, so that's keeping me busy outside of work hours. Either way, I haven't had a chance yet to get the cannon rolling. I tried to give it a go, but the autofocus was a bit average, so I'm, I'm probably going to have to have a play around with it and see if it's any good. I might do a little bit of filming on it and see how it goes. I've got a stand and stuff coming for it to make it a bit easier, so the biggest creative 
issues at the moment using the Samsung Galaxy S is that I haven't purchased a stand for it. So I have to basically film in any way which involves me physically holding the camera uh, or the phone, which uh, limits my creativity a little bit. But the bonus is uh, I've been able to take a bunch of photos and I'm starting to hopefully even try and do videos for my company's Instagram, which has been really fun because I've now got a creative outlet through work as well, which is awesome. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway, we're going to go pick up Mulder. Well, actually, we're going to go take Obi around to mum's place first and then we're going to go pick up Mulder from his operation and he's going to be all drugged out and doped up and uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting afternoon. that we didn't record <laughs> I'm really upset that we didn't record Mulder coming out of uh, the vet's office because he was so cute he was just like walking out real dopey just like like half walking all over the place and like we opened the door for him to go and he just kind of followed the door rather than walking out the door it was just oh, it was so good so he's now on the mend he's got the cone on and yeah, we're just gonna have to monitor him. He'll have his stitches out in 10 days. Obi will probably get done himself around the same time. And yeah, hopefully we get through this because we love our boys so much and they need to, you know, they need to be in our lives. Well, they don't need to be, we want them to be in our lives. So Taylor's carrying on He doesn't understand something. that he can move. Oh, Papa. Maori, come here. 